I'm just about to cover a list of the top websites that will get you paid for simply uploading pictures, so let's get started. But now guys, before we move into it, we need to cover something that is going to be essential for today's method, and that is understanding the use case that these pictures are going to serve. Now, I don't know how many of you are familiar with this channel right here. It's a pretty big one, it's got over 2 million subscribers, and they're putting out some really high quality content. But what you're gonna notice is that their videos are just a compilation of stock footage and different pictures they got from various places. However, guys, in order to monetize a video on YouTube, you need to make sure that you comply with the community guidelines, advertiser-friendly content guidelines, and terms of service. Not only that, but you need to have 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 hours of watch time, there's quite a few different criteria that you need to meet. However, one thing that I want to point out here is the fact that YouTube is not going to monetize you if you're using someone else's footage in your video. For instance, if I wanted to make my videos a little bit more engaging by using some random pictures that I downloaded off the internet, that is not going to work. My YouTube channel can actually get a copyright strike and it can be taken down or deleted. That is because of something really smart called copyright policies. These are basically in place in order to protect content creators. You see, you cannot simply take advantage of someone else's work, steal their videos, steal their pictures and hope to get away with it. That is because most content that you see online is protected by some sort of copyright policy. That is true for YouTube videos, that is true for most of the footage you see online, and so on. And that is precisely why whenever we want to add some stock footage or some stock videos, in the editing process, we need to be very careful about them. And here is what we typically do. If you need content that is copyright free, what you can do is connect to websites such as pixabay.com. This is where you can get access to free images or videos that are all copyright free as well. These are in the public domain. They are not protected by any sort of copyright policy, and that allows you to reuse them in your own videos without getting in trouble and without your channel being taken down. That is a huge advantage. As you can see, pixabay.com is a free alternative. You can just connect to the website, you can pick a picture that you actually like and download it onto your device. For instance, I can just type in something like business, I can hit enter and that will show a bunch of different relevant pictures. However guys, this website is only gonna work up to a certain point. If I wanna search for something more specific, such as, let's say, a businessman in pajamas. Let me actually type that in. I can assure you I'm not gonna find any relevant pictures on pixabay.com. However, if I connect to this other website, which is one of their sponsors, I'm gonna be able to find a few. Let me just copy that, head over to iStock, and repeat the same experiment. And apparently, that actually works. Not only that, but we've got over 170 different relevant pictures and some of them are exactly what I searched for. I mean, it doesn't get any better or any more relevant than that, does it? But there is a very big difference between pixabay.com and iStockphoto.com and that is the fact that the latter is not free of charge and that's exactly what we're gonna leverage. Here's the thing guys, what we need to understand is that if you wanted to use stock footage off of iStockphoto.com or even Shutterstock.com which is a very similar platform, you would have to pay a monthly subscription or you would have to pay a certain fee for the specific picture that you want to download and that's where the opportunity lies for us because here's what's actually happening behind the curtains. You see, these pictures don't just randomly appear on the website. These pictures have been taken by people with either their mobile phones or their professional cameras or whatever and they have been uploaded to the website. In turn, whenever the picture gets downloaded, iStockphoto, Shutterstock.com, all of these websites will pay their contributors for every single download. And I'm not just throwing words around. If you guys connect to Shutterstock.com and then you head over to the bottom of your page, you're gonna notice there is a special section for contributors where you can sell your content. And the way this works is really streamlined. Whenever you have a high quality picture, you can upload it onto the website. And if somebody searches for something similar to that and they end up downloading your picture, you will get compensated for your contribution. You will literally get paid for uploading photos onto this website. And you're not gonna be the first one to do it. Believe it or not, Shutterstock has actually paid more than $1 billion to their content creators so far over the last 15 years. Now, if that is not impressive, I don't know what is. $1 billion paid out to their contributors. And by the way, this is a global community, which makes the process a lot more convenient. I know that not all of you are necessarily based in the United States or the UK or Europe. And so you can still apply, you can still become a contributor on Shutterstock and start selling your pictures. What you wanna do is connect to submit.shutterstock.com and then click on get started. And that will basically take you straight over to the sign up process where you can apply for the job. But this is gonna be quite easy. You get to join the community and start selling in seconds by just entering in some basic information. 
information. Your full name, display name, email address, create the password, and you should be good to go. And it is going to work in a very similar way on iStockphoto.com. What you want to do is scroll down to the bottom of their page, and this is where you can click on Sell Stock Content. Once you do that, it will take you to the sign up form, and this is where you get to put your creativity to work. Now guys, let me tell you something. Nowadays, every one of us has a pretty good, pretty decent mobile phone, right? The quality of your mobile phone's camera is actually insanely high. And that is precisely why we are seeing a lot of people contributing to Shutterstock, contributing to iStockphoto.com without necessarily having any professional equipment. If you have an iPhone that's got a good enough camera, that might be all you need. So you don't even have to make any upfront investments to take advantage of this process. This is more about creativity than equipment. As long as your pictures actually convey an interesting message, you can definitely stand out. And as we've just seen, the more specific you go, the more chances you have of standing out. Let me show you what I mean. Now, remember that experiment with the businessman in pajamas? That was a very specific search. And for that reason, we only have 171 relevant results. However, if you were to just type in businessman, something else is going to happen. We've got 3 million different images that we can download. 3.4 million different pieces of content. As you can see, the competition here is insanely high. Just because you're focusing on a very general niche. A very general topic and this is where creativity comes into play you want to capture the most unexpected situations very specific things and if people search for that at some point that they download your designs that is how you're gonna make money but if you're not a creative person and you're just taking some low quality not very creative pictures then this side hustle may not be for you but now guys let's just say that taking pictures is not your cup of tea you're not particularly passionate about it. Perhaps the equipment you currently have doesn't allow you to create high quality pictures and you don't get accepted as a contributor on either one of these websites. That is just the worst case scenario. I'm pretty sure that most of you will be accepted. However, if you're not accepted but you still want to make money on these websites, there is another thing you can do. Instead of taking pictures, you can sell another type of content on both Shutterstock and iStockphoto.com. And these are not photos that you shoot, but photos that you create. And here's a clear cut example of that. I've just searched for a party invitation on Shutterstock. And as you can see, there are a bunch of different designs. All of these have probably been created by graphic designers who most certainly know what they are doing. But I want you guys to take a look at this design right here. It is definitely a cool looking one, but creating this is not going to be as difficult as you think. And I'm about to walk you through the process. We can create a very similar design for absolutely free. And you can start selling this on Shutterstock or iStock Photo. Instead of going out there, stepping out of your comfort zone and recording footage, you can just create these digital designs and sell them for a profit. And it might actually work even better than selling regular pictures. What you want to do is connect to Canva.com and let's just type in party invitation. Believe it or not, Canva.com is not only free, but it's got thousands of templates that you can leverage. Just by typing in party invitation and taking a look at the available templates, you're going to notice a few that are very similar to the ones which were selling on Shutterstock. All you got to do is just pick one that you like and then start customizing it. Make a few changes, add your own unique touch, and you're almost there. This is definitely not rocket science, and you can certainly create some very cool designs using Canva. Take a look at this design for instance. I mean it is very similar to the one we've just seen on Shutterstock. It is definitely not as cool. It could use some work but it can get there eventually. For instance you can head over to the element section and then type in flamingo which is the missing piece here and let's just add one of those. You get access to all of these high quality pictures. You could just add that one then flip it around maybe and then play around with it until it finally looks cool. I'm gonna let you guys explore all of these. You've got countless different templates you can play with and all of them are fully customizable and the website for the most part is absolutely free to use and even if you want to upgrade it is not going to cost you a fortune. But the main takeaway here is this. Not only can you sell photos, videos, stock footage basically on Shutterstock and iStock Photo, but you can also sell this kind of digital designs that people can use for a particular purpose, such as a party invitation. This is a clear cut example. And now guys, if we already got started with these websites, let me provide you with a few more options just in case you don't get accepted. Pexels.com is another great one and you can also become a contributor here. I've also used Unsplash.com a few times in the past so I would highly recommend that you look into it as well. And the thing about Unsplash.com is that it allows you to even sell 3D renders if that is your thing. We're also talking about wallpapers, textures, nature content, nature footage and the list goes on. 
you've got plenty of options so i'm gonna let you explore those now guys you do have to keep one thing in mind here just by uploading designs on shutterstock.com and then waiting for people to magically happen them that is not going to make you a millionaire if you really want to make some decent amounts of money uploading footage what you want to do is step up the game when it comes to volume you want to upload as many designs as possible you want to do that on a daily basis that is how you get in front of more people and if you choose the first path which was recording footage yourself taking pictures yourself i would highly recommend again that you capture some very specific some very interesting and unique situations i keep referring to this example right here with a businessman in pajamas but it goes to show the difference between going for a very broad niche and then narrowing it down to something more specific it really makes a difference so you've got everything you need to make it work that's it for now and thanks for watching